Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Imperator the Bronze Age, playing as Babylon. We have a new ruler, Alas and Delac. I really liked the guy we had before, but Ramush has taken over, so he'll be running things for at least a little bit. Uh, I do have some serious issues as far as my stability. It's really not going anywhere good right now. Prisoners in foreign lands apparently does reduce it, which I did not know. So we probably should try to go ahead and ransom the prisoner for a little bit, just to kind of offset at least some of the damage. Then we have aggressive expansion, which of course sitting at 43 is still a problem. I think it goes down by minus 0.15 for every 20 aggressive expansion that you have. I'm trying to reduce this as quickly as possible, and being in an appeasing stance does certainly help. But we could really benefit from trying to increase my tyranny in some way. Um, there aren't a lot of ways that I know to increase tyranny for sure. And by the way, we're absolutely going to do this again. Go ahead and stab a pig and try to improve this. Um, there aren't a lot of ways that I know to improve our tyranny or increase it. Aside from, let's say, changing up some of the governor laws. Doing so does tend to do this. It does cost some... Um, uh, some political influence every time, though. Let's see. If we were to come up over, let's say, here with local autonomy, that does give happiness, duly noted. If I were to swap... Ah, darn it. Not actually what I meant to do there, but all right, let's go ahead and do this. Um, this does give tyranny. You can see it down here. It just doesn't show it up on this particular map mode. If I were to go to, let's say, over here, and try to change it from here, if we can get a little bit more political influence, it should tell me that we will gain inf uh, tyranny. I think... I think. I think that's correct. We'll find out in a little bit. We'll find out in a little bit. Somebody else dies of dysentery. It's really getting around, man. Uh, let's see. Somebody from a region we don't... Oh, in a CAD. Okay. Uh, gains opinion of me. I don't really care. Um, we're going to annex them soon enough. I'd rather just go ahead... I'd rather go ahead and do something else. Who are we fighting? I can't even see you. Is it this tiny nation? This little guy right here, we're at war with. Okay, if you say so. I think he attacked my vassal, so I gotta go kill him now, but that's fine. Uh, peculating official, okay. We can lose a load of loyalty and have problems. We can get in some money, or because we are upstanding, we lose even more money. Somebody loses a lot of loyalty, but I gain a load of popularity. No. A character loses loyalty, gains corruption. We gain tyranny and money, and I gain popularity. Honestly? Probably worth. This character getting 20 um, corruption is no good. It's my marshal. If we do this, we would lose a lot of loyalty. But I think we're going to do it anyway. Let's gain 25 popularity plus some tyranny and stuff. I want it. All right, so now we have a scorned family member because I did get rid of my marshal, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and put you in charge instead. There we go. See? Nothing to worry about. Who's worried at all? You're completely fine. Lots of pretender support going around, by the way. Can colonize a little bit more. We will do so. Continue working our way into some more territory. It's going to take so long to get the stability up. We need events. We need a lot of events to give me free stability, and I need this aggressive expansion to go down a lot faster. So much faster than this. It's just not enough. And this is where I'm tempted to spend, like, almost every innovation we get. Oh, this is actually helpful. But I can't keep gaining corruption like this. Take a little bit less. Researcher died. Unfortunate timing, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and put you in charge. I'm tempted to say we need to go for literally every bit of aggressive expansion reduction possible. You know? Start working down here toward mandating local governance just so we can reduce it a little bit more. Head down to Oaths of Fealty. Get a bit more there. Diplomatic Apologetics. Reduce it. Symbolic Victory. Reduce it by a lot more. You know? These are all things we have to do. I, that's what's killing me. My economy will be stronger... And I'd be able to go to war a lot more often if... Why am I... I'm, I'm locked out. Thanks. You just killed my... You just you just killed my military access. All right. That's probably fine. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, my economy would be stronger. My military would be stronger. I could go to war a lot more often if aggressive expansion were not a huge thorn in my side. Uh, we do have issues where now we have a scorned family member. 
But we can't change any of this because I'm disorganized until our stability goes down to 20. Also, I don't really have a lot of good family members. I don't suppose I can change a governor. Eason, for example, is not great. If I were to swap out a governor for a new one... We really don't have a lot of good options, do we? This is the best I got. It does technically give me some happiness. It's the only position I can change. Um, that's a mechanic in the game. If you do not have 20 stability, you can't declare war, and you can't reorganize your government offices. Obviously a little awkward. So I need a lot more opinion with you. We can fix that, though. If I were to send you a gift that gets me 25, right? Let's get a diplomat back at the 17th, and what we'll do is we'll temporarily reduce taxes so I can begin the integration process with a CAD. So we're going to go to our economy. We're going to reduce the tribute. We're going to start the integration, and then we're going to raise it back up because I don't care. It's going to take a while, but hey, you know, another vassal we can eat up. And I want to eat a CAD. By the way, we're most of the way done with getting our Great Wonder. That's going to be exciting. We could get a lot more money. I'd be tempted to get more Wonders. Gain popularity again, more happiness and stuff. I think we'll go for that. I am curious what other kind of Wonders and stuff we could be building. Like, for example, forget the stone and stuff. What kind of effects have I unlocked here? So Cultural Memorial, I think, isn't new. There's at least a couple that we've unlocked recently. Conquering Traditions. See, there we go. Countrywide aggressive expansion impact reduction is kind of helpful. We could also just make it basically a militaristic um, wonder to try and get the aggressive expansion impact plus some siege ability. That's pretty good. Anything else that we would care about? Unintegrated culture happiness. Nah, I think we would make this very militaristically focused, probably. And we would be going for mostly that. I think that'd be fine. So let's suppose we did, you know? Let's suppose we did an aggressive expansion impact reduction. Let's suppose we did some siege ability stuff. I don't have enough money, but you know, that's two traditions. Um, we can make it cheap if we were to build it out of wood, I think. No, actually wood is more expensive than stone. Who knew? Well, that makes sense. Can make things out of ebony. Obviously gets pretty expensive pretty quick. What if we made it a pyramid? Pyramids, it turns out, are way more expensive than towers. Did you know? Tis true. But they get some pretty good prestige value out of them. That is a lot of money and a lot of time. And we are not producing stone in the region in question. Still, these are two bonuses I would absolutely love to get. Yeah, towers are cheap, then buildings, then pyramids. Tier 3 pyramids. Eh, these templates aren't particularly great for me. Yeah, this doesn't matter. Huh, alright, well, either way. I mean, I'll be happy getting just my, uh, my one, um... I'll be happy getting my one wonder. Never built one before. This character is very disloyal. Um, I don't really see a point in giving you anything. We could try to reward veterans to try and pull them away from you. And I think I will. So this makes you lose some power base. Which at least makes you less of a threat, if nothing else. Don't care about much else, though. Somebody else falls ill. A child has an infection. Meh. Um, mercenaries are kind of unhappy in their current position. We have no um, food. So I kind of need you guys to give me military access so I can get back over here. Stability increases a tiny bit. Thank you, events. Now we can cancel the military access. That's all I needed. You are fighting who? Who? Lulubum and so on. Okay, so you're not fighting Assyria. That's who I was most afraid of. If you were fighting Assyria, I think we actually would have had a problem. Who's this? A Susan Revolt? 
Very small and nobody cares. What's this? Lou stability. Gosh dang you. A Parla state. Gain stability, lose money. Fine. We'll get it right back. 12. Whoa. Oh, stability, that art horrible to me. Truly, that art horrible. What else can I do? I can go to war. If I can get up to 20, I can go to war just to show superiority. Even if I don't take any territory with aggressive expansion, we can go to war and get slaves and stuff. I mean, that's still pretty good, right? Um, I don't want to put another family in charge right now, so we'll put you there. Increasing my civilization. What is my civilization value looking like in Babylon? Very high. 80 right now. That's pretty awesome. So it's definitely making our uh, population much, much better as time goes on. Curious if we can trade out anything here in Babylon, for example, that would be better. We have a statue for happiness, and then there's state religion happiness. Yeah, um... Mm. I don't know how much I care, though. No, we don't care about that too much. My ruler's zeal is high enough that it's better. My legitimacy is starting to go down quite a bit, which is a problem. It's making people unhappy. Attack of pirates. We attack again with an overland route. Are we just going to keep getting this event again and again? Is that how it's going to work? I guess so. We could try integrating some more pops. The problem is, by doing so, I know that we are going to make some other folks unhappy. Also, Gudian is kind of gradually falling apart. It's not that big of a deal anymore. As our cities continue to grow, and population continues to migrate, we're sort of making this better. Could build a ziggurat over here, and I think I will. This does help at least a little bit with assimilating some pops in an area where I know that I'm not very fast. So we'll work with that. Still feel like if we don't take on our ally, we need to get a city over here or something. This is a better place for a city, to be honest. I like the trade good a little bit better with the leather. But nowhere near the pops to justify it. Can build something else over here. Um, how about a... Bazaar, Foundry, make you into a city. I want to have at least one city in every province. I think that just gets me the most overall provincial um, bonuses from just being able to, you know, uh, construct a lot of buildings. Uh, also, just makes it a little bit easier for me to control the population. No longer importing vegetables, horses, and butamen, and precious game, and so on. Basically, a lot of stuff just got killed. Okay, we can make this baby better at finesse. Also, set the culture of this baby to the wrong one, my primary heir. No, you're not allowed to be the tutor anymore. You're banned. We'll put you in charge again, though. I get rid of him just to bring him right back. How confusing is that? All right, precious metals I still want. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we lost this, which was the build cost reduction. That's still pretty good. We'll trade with our ally. And I guess we can go for the wild game. Actually, I think I'm going to go for the earthenware instead. Let's get our Freeman output back up. I like the manpower. Manpower is still good. Speaking of which, we are sitting on at least a reasonable amount. My maximum is like 9,000, though. So all I can really do with it is just colonize repeatedly. And that's kind of it. Not a whole lot else. I'm curious how effective the ziggurat's really going to be. The destructive worldwide drought has officially ended that we've had from the beginning of the game. Well, that's exciting. So right now, we're at 0.45 from the ziggurat. Once it's... Uh, after the, before the ziggurat. Now that it's done... 2.72, that's a huge boost in cultural integration. And that is one of the reasons why I feel like I need to be getting cities in a lot of these places. Again, you're trying to do this. Stop it. I'll keep putting you back in position, but stop trying to change the culture of my baby. All right, some place is prospering. Well, that's pretty good. Gain popularity. I think I want the stability. I'm a, I don't have any tyranny to lose, but this puts me above 20. Also, justice is done. 
Somebody gets gold for a while until the debt is paid off. I cannot release him from prison until it's done. We imprison somebody automatically. Well, that's probably going to upset somebody. In the meantime, though, I now have more than 20 stability. Thank God. I can use this to start going to war with some people. Now, I do want to go to war against Uruk. We have a lot that we need to take. Not to mention Sumerians are an accepted um, culture. We could also not go to war for the sake of conquering and instead try to show superiority. We don't have a Cassus Belly, so that's not a good idea. I don't want to fight my ally, so the only real option is indeed to attack over here against Uruk. All right. Well, do we do it now? Maybe. Is there anything else I can do to change up my government real quick? We don't have any scorned families, and most characters are fairly decent. We should be getting a reasonable amount of political influence, but it's nowhere near enough. My gosh dang corruption just keeps killing me here. We could start spending your own money to try and gain legitimacy, which I feel like we need. We're going to swap this over. Yeah, I lose a bit of political influence, but it's okay. And yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and attack. Are you fighting anybody right now, ally? No, you're not. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and do this then. And now we are at war, and now we're fighting over a bunch of stuff, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and raise up the levies. Remember, if we have some stability, I can go and change up some levy law in a bit, but I don't see a reason to do it right now. At least not until we're in such a place that I feel threatened. Because uh, it will take more pops out of the economy and have them working over here instead. Can we change a god to something more useful? State religion happiness. I already know that we don't have anybody that can um, change my aggressive expansion, but we could do this to place a holy site. But it costs 15. No, no, no. I'm not going to spend all that. It's just not worth spending that. I'm not willing to spend 15 freaking stability on something so trivial as that. Blockaded ports. What? You got freaking ships? Well, now aren't you fancy? Now, the problem is you have a garbage martial score. So I'm not thrilled about bringing you in. You can actually go to Kesh while the rest of these guys go over to Latilla. We'll start sieging down that fort. We're going to start sieging down uh, Adab. They were able to siege down one of my provincial capitals, which is annoying. But we're getting in position to come and jump on him. He can't run from me for very long. We actually sieged this down already. That was actually shockingly quick. Can we catch you? No, no, no. I need to catch him. Yes, now we can. All right, so here comes all the reinforcements. We got huge numbers. You're going to get surrounded and crushed. No problem whatsoever. Okay. And we have cavalry, which makes my life a little bit easier now. You are going to head back down over here. We'll take the rest of you. And there's more provincial capitals to go siege down in that direction. Or we can go ahead and start working on the capital. I think we go for the capital. So, at least one province is gradually becoming more loyal. That's good. Uh, we are about to get attacked over here where I have low morale. We need reinforcements to arrive. It's going to be a bit. We're going to lose that fight. That hurt. We're going to attack again, apparently. But I have more reinforcements on the way. So, we're going to be fine. You go ahead and start working on the capital, then. One another siege. Good. Flocking to the banner. Five loyal cohorts to a governor. I don't really like the idea, but we're going to have to do it. If I have to spend money to reward some of my um, armies so that they abandon this guy and he doesn't get too much of a power base, that's fine. I don't necessarily mind. Okay, let's get all those guys reorganized. This should be an easy war for me, to be honest. I don't anticipate too many problems. Reinforcements coming in over here. 
We can pass through uninhabitable deserts? You know, I kind of assumed that these were actually gonna block you off in a lot of ways, but apparently I'm wrong. What do you know? Uh, somebody has escaped. Somebody get claims as well. Well, it's probably fine. Uh, let's go ahead and invoke the Devotio, get some tyranny to start burning down some more aggressive expansion. I have become aggressive. My, my, so aggressive. Let's get some more tyranny. It's gonna burn down or at least keep the war exhaustion under control. I'm gonna do it again. More tyranny. Just keep that aggressive expansion burning down even while we fight. It's so important right now. What I may have to do at some point, instead of like fully annexing Uruk, is actually just turn them into another vassal, depending. Salat just became a city, okay. You can head down over here, we'll go to Ur. Salat, I was building up over here, right? Yes, this right here, okay. So we actually have some stuff we can do with this now. Don't think we need any ziggurats or anything. The unrest is here. But I think the provincial loyalty is actually pretty bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab some peacekeepers. And then I guess we can queue up some additional foundries and workshops. And I'm gonna make this a slave-based city with earthenware. We'll go ahead and just increase the ratio of that. Okay, we are victorious over here. Crush another small stack, no problem at all. And I'll sit on this war as long as I need to. I don't mind. Send some of you guys to go over to these cities as well. I want to get as much siege down as possible as quick as we can. Can we colonize anymore? Yep. Let's go ahead and colonize again. Get some furs. Not a lot of uncolonizable land left, except for like over here in the mountains, which I think would be a really good place to colonize, because I think there's copper there. And that's obviously a pretty darn good trade good for me. Okay, they're going around once again and sieging things, which I don't appreciate. Whatever. Sacking of Larsa. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and still be fairly gentle. I don't know if I'm going to take this or not, but we'll try. Let's go ahead and start chasing these guys down if possible. Somebody has... Okay, so a mercenary just died. I think we have a new general for them. Let's see if we can go chase these guys down. We're unseaging all of this right now as we speak. He's going to unseage this. That's fine. We got the siege. Perfect. Let's head over here and make sure we trap him fully. This siege is done. Let's go to Kissick. We're sitting at 67% war score. Obviously could be a lot better. Plenty of numbers on my side all of a sudden. Okay, so Uruk's going to lose all of that. So that army's dead. Let's go chase down the rest. So we have two sieges left. This fort, this provincial capital, and we just need to clean up some units so I don't have any war score issues. We're at 99 right now. I guess it would probably be more profitable just to end. So what did I need for my missions? We need to control a dab, and we needed to make gains here. So these two are what we technically need to take for missions. I also would like to take this so we finally control... Wait, no. No, I don't actually own anything over here. Do I care? What's the culture of this area? Mostly Sumerian, but some Akkadians. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I care about this region. I think we care about these. That's only seven aggressive expansion. It's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad. Take this, that's up to 16. We're talking another loss of stability again. Although, if I am seeing this correctly, we would have handed that off to my ally instead. This is 14, we can take all of this. Alternatively, um, I can try to make you my tributary so we can annex you in the future. The problem is that's obviously gonna take a very, very, very long time to annex and I'd rather get some gains right now. Yeah, let's do this. And then we could force you to release some nations. Doing so costs war score, but it doesn't cost me anything beyond that. Release people like Ur, and we can go kill them later. Of course, the danger is that we actually set up also um, Susan. to go and kill people instead, which I obviously don't want. Uh, I don't care about physicians and health that much. Can we just figure out a scorned character and put you in charge? There, have fun. 
we can gain some stability. Thank you. Ascent of Heaven has been completed. We have a wonder. All right, so that's going to be great. Let's get this all sieged. I want to control all of it. So we should have two new trade routes. Thank you. Let's get the wild game figured out. Trade with someone far away, I guess. And then we have one extra route that I've not used yet. Who sh what should we get? Start working on dyes, maybe? Papyrus, we can start getting some tech investment. Yeah, that could be good. Cloth, I can easily get. Let's get Papyrus, though. Who are you? Kemet. This is Egypt. Who, by the way, has solidified the entirety of the Nile up over here. And they're looking at almost four and a half thousand pops. Yeah, they're running away with the game in a big way. I can't keep up, turns out. Alright, all of you guys get over here. Let's see if we can crush these last armies. Now we have an infection. Well, that's great. I need to re-siege this capital. Oh, we didn't actually get Kissick. I pulled away too fast. Darn it. And also, I think these generals are moving and doing their own thing. Is your loyalty low? Yes, it is. Our governors are not playing nice. They're running off and sending their troops to places I don't want. So we can't control these guys properly anymore. That's no good. All right. Well, it's time to just go ahead and end this then. Um, I think I will ask you to release, let's say, Uma. If only Liberating reduced my aggressive expansion, wouldn't that be great? All right, good enough. Let's do this. Boom. So, hi, you, yes, um, I need to fabricate a claim on you now. My goal being to conquer you before it's too late, before Susan gets on you. We have control of Adab, so we are going to gain some um, people assimilating. 15 pops to my culture, that's really strong. Making gains, we'll get some tax and population happiness for a bit. We have already consolidated, we have already converted, so we lose some aggressive expansion. And integrating is going to get me a bit more, then we have to pick a side. Uh, we have to have this province governed by one of the Ahmed family. That's interesting. Really? The Adab province. Which is a part of Eason, who is this guy who is disloyal as frick and I don't like him. But he refuses to be replaced. Well, I can increase your loyalty, at least temporarily, up to 47. Then I can replace you with somebody more competent. You're a part of the Red family. There aren't any good Red characters I can work with here. You would be a pretty darn effective governor. We need a better governor here, so we're going to do that. As far as scorn families, uh, I'll tell you what, this is a tiny province that's going to rebel against me no matter what anyway. I'm going to put you in charge. Have fun. Another mission done. Picking a side. Boom. Got it. All right. Uh, insulin, uh, influence of the Galestis family. Somebody will gain some popularity but lose prominence. M adopt different minor characters. Do we want to adopt somebody? You're pretty good. You're really good. I think we can adopt you. You're solid. Yeah, let's bring him into the proper family. We can use him for something later, right? He'll be a lot better. What's this last thing we do? Triumph and Eason. We can get some population output and happiness. Plus, our character gets, or some character, the governor, gets a bit of extra oratory skill. Perfect. We'll go ahead and do that. So now we can finish the mission. Now, in Marad, I could technically build some cities. Do I really want to do that? Marauds over here. This would take a lot of money to build out two more cities. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I want to do it. I want to finish this mission and move on to something else. The Matakar of Uruk and Ur. We can do it again. It's pretty good in the sense that um, it lets me, first off, get some claims. 
In addition, uh, it gets a lot of local happiness to stave off rebellions, at least for a while. So I like the idea of doing that. I'm going to invoke the Devotio a lot. We're going to max out some serious freaking tyranny. Oh, I know the loyalty of characters is low as a result. I don't care. I need to burn off this aggressive expansion and fast, dude. So let's take a look at that wonder we built. Hello! There you are, the Ascent to Heaven. It's a tier two, which gets me a lot of cool stuff. So what's my research looking like all of a sudden? Now we're up to 47.24. I think previously we were somewhere on the order of like, it was like 28% research efficiency. So we got a lot more here actually, which is pretty nice. But it's gonna be a while before we are gonna get some more innovations to continue burning down the uh, stupid aggressive expansion as fast as we can. Still, I will take what I can get out of that. Not to mention, uh, nationally, we'll get some extra money coming in, which is great. Plus, our citizens are a lot happier. So all of that is pretty darn great. We'll take it. I've got some political influence. Can I stab a pig? Here. It's only going to cost 50. Yeah, let's do that. Invoke again? I'm going to invoke again. Why not? Let's get that really high. Who scorned now? Green family. Ugh. Well, let's get some extra papyrus so we can get some civic tech investment. Yeah. That lets me basically start researching some of this tech a little faster. It's almost like getting a little bit more research efficiency in something specific. And if we can get civic, military, and religious up, we'll get some more tech points, which I really want. All right, we're gonna deal with the Scorn family in a little bit. I got 2,000 gold I'm working with. We have a lot of disloyal characters, and we have a lot of disloyal provinces. This is getting harder and harder to work with as time goes on but we're gonna have to live with it somehow. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if so, then I would humbly ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.